So there the tenants customer will get as per the package. Implementation one, where they will do implementation configuration. Implementation two might be we can use to copy the data for testing, copy the data for testing. Sandbox preview tenant. Any idea what is meant by sandbox preview tenant? Uh, that's where all the twice a year um, release information is mm -hmm. provided to the customers sandbox. early so they can review. Exactly. Sandbox preview tenant, which holds production copy. Plus. New features. Production copy plus new features. Why we have production copy plus new features? I can do in sandbox. Why preview is required here? The reason is when our worker delivered the new features, they will ask us, hey, the other new features we delivered or we are yet to de we are delivering in the so on so tenant. Please proceed for testing. And let us know if there is any impact on your production data. So that's why sandbox preview tenant we have. New features plus production copy. We will run certain tasks here and we'll see uh, what are all the new features and is this new impacting preview tenant or not. Question here is how to identify the new features in the tenant? Anyone? Based on the version. Right. Is there any way I can you can we can track? Run this report. What's new? Okay. Which area would like to find for a chart? Woman capital management. Okay, for payroll. If you would like to set subcategories setup related, what release you want to track? Mm. Two thousand twenty two release two, the latest one. Okay. So what they are going to fetch, what are the changes has been available in core, core composition. There are four changes has been delivered. Here, advanced cash balance, don't worry, finance related account, banking related IBAN, payroll accounting, all finance related. So, so there are the four new changes workday has been delivered. Import into the Excel and there the test you have to perform. Is this feature is available or not in your Sandbox preview tenant. Is this feature is impacting my production data or not? So you will record those details. And if you find any issue, work will get a Jira, Jira case. Copy this and uh, raise a case with Workday saying that, hey, uh, the new feature, whatever you provide under the Jira, is not working as expected in my tenant. So please look into this and resolve it. Okay, another question, what are the types of updates we have? Types of updates? 
Um, their um, their bug fixes, their maintenance, and their new functionality. Right, ma'am. Further, those are divided into two types. Automatically available, manual available, setup required. Automatic means we don't have any control. If you say, I don't want this feature. No, you cannot. Workday, there's an agreement with Workday. Workday by default release these features. We cannot say no to Workday. You have to accept it. Manual updates, you have an option. Either you can accept or you can ignore. If you don't want, you can ignore those because those are setup related. Okay. So what you do, what you guys can do, import into Excel and please go to each and every field. They will also tell you what is this functionality, what it will do, how, how it will help you. Everything will be available here. I just want to add that that a new a new customer implementing they also get a cop um, a GMS tenant. GMS tenant, yes, ma'am. The one what currently we are using is nothing but the same GMS tenant. The GMS yeah. tenant is nothing but uh, it has the sample data mm -hmm. about configurations, how the data workflow looks, all that information we have here. Yeah. And they will let you test in it for a certain period of time. But it, that would be a six tenant, a six tenant. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just uh, like what happens behind the project that, that we're discussing, uh, motion to descriptive part. So any questions on what the types of tenants we have in work there? And sandbox is nothing but actually where the UAT will start. Production is nothing but actual tent where we will log in. One last question. Can we do proxy in production? Yes. No. yes. Well, you can, but you don't want to do that. No. Production environment proxy cannot be configurable. Not allowed. Remaining all the tenants you can do this tenant you cannot actually user only have to log in for example we three have we three are working for one company and we three have access i cannot proxy to melissa's account nor melissa can proxy to karen's account i can do another way actually this is also some company policies uh, we should be careful if I have Melissa user ID password, I can log into Melissa's account. That works. That way you can access. Proxy is not provided. 